the best advice people gave me in that time was like, follow your heart, follow your passion, do what you love. And I did not follow it. It's not about just having fun. I'm going to do something that you know is important in the world, and 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 I wanted to study law and, and become a human rights lawyer. And um, and now, in retrospect, I think that they were really, really right because this is in the end. Now, ten years later, I realize it's really about what you love and what your passion is that will bring you really far in life. I've got many advice, some very good ones. So my mom is always one that wants people to be happy. So she told me like, pick something that makes you happy. Don't think about what others want about you. Don't think what you should do. Pick something that really makes you happy and resonates with you. My dad gave me another very good advice and was like, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to be working and doing. And he told me, Ila, relax. You're going to live more than 80 years. You will change jobs many times. So just pick something you want to do now. Don't try to think about 80 years to come. Just do something you want to do now. And then he told me, and do it professionally and secretly. I mean, and do it with your heart. So if I had to pick my mom's and my dad's advice, is to do something that makes me happy with my heart, but professionally. I wish someone had said, really, really follow your passion. <laughs> I was very stressed out. I was like, you know, it's like I had to build my reputation, my professional life, my everything. So I guess I would like somebody to tell me, take it easy. I mean, you will solve it. Just go through the process. It's a process. And if you take a decision, no worries, then you can change it. So yeah, I would have loved somebody to tell me, take it easy. Start doing things. Don't wait and don't try to analyze too much about what's the best next step, especially if you're just coming out of college or just coming out of um, your master's, you're going to be working a lot longer than you've been alive. So it does, almost doesn't matter what you do next. It's really important to follow what you're interested in and uh, and to start getting things done, to show that you're, uh, show evidence of being a doer uh, and that you can make things happen, be responsible, uh, be accountable and get things done on time and uh, show evidence of that. If you can do that, then the opportunities uh, will come flooding in and you won't have to even look for it. It's so cliche, but it's true. Just go out there, see what you can do. If you don't get any internships that interest you or job offers, which would be great, right? Um, do something, your own project, something that interests you, something that you love, something that you're excited about. Look if you have friends that you can maybe collaborate with. That, um, that you can build something with and you know check your network and get in touch with other people if, if there's no opportunities opening up make a point of going out there and talking to different people in your network or your parents network or your friends network interview them you know find ideas go traveling I never thought I would be working in education or be an educator, um, but it's taken 10 years of working in social entrepreneurship and realizing the problems of um, the way we train people for this kind of work uh, to realize that that's actually where I was needed and that's where my passion was. But it wasn't until very recently that I discovered I had a passion for education. To follow your heart is, is a very, very valuable one. And oftentimes it seems that it's not possible because our family has the pressure on us or the society has pressures on us or even us with internalized voices saying, oh, you have to be this and that great person, you know. Um, they can all get into the way of understanding what is really what you want to do and what you love. I've been working with young people for many years and what I always tell them is to do something that they're passionate about. And sometimes they tell me, but I don't know what I'm passionate about. So I say like, no worries. It's like, do not be something that I'm passionate about environment. It could be like, I like working, working with people. So do something that is related with that. Or I like, Organization stuff, so do organization stuff. It's not about finding your passion, it's about discovering your passion, and that will take some time. Uh, so, just for the moment, go with your gut. Find older people that, that have a lot of life experience and, and ask them you know, what their advice would be. It doesn't matter that you have to have a big passion, it's something that makes you feel happy, makes you feel fulfilled. So, try to find that in your life.